cementation of lithium desilicate. For sure, lithium desilicate is one of the most used material in restorative dentistry, both for this characteristic, good aesthetics and good strength, because it's the highest strength in the family of glass ceramic. This material could be cemented in different way, and when we have to approach the cementation, we have to ask to ourselves two main questions. The first one is, uh, what is the amount of stability that I need, also considering the, the adhesive preparation of this restoration? And the second one is uh, how much I need to improve the strength of the complex tooth restoration after my cementation. Considering these two questions, I want to introduce you a couple of examples in order to figure out uh, different scenarios. The first one is when I have to approach a partial restoration as a, a tabletop, as an onlay, as a laminate veneer, and in this case, in example of the laminate veneer, I have a very, very low stability because the preparation is very adhesive and very flat and not retentive. And uh, I need also to improve a little bit the resistance because maybe I have this lithium desilicate as a core, but I have a bilayer, the ceramic on top, that is less resistance compared to the monolithic approach. So in this case, I want to have a full steps, a full workflow of the adhesive procedures, both on the tooth and both on the ceramic restoration. So I don't want to stay too much on the ceramic restoration conditioning, we can talk this in another video, but what I want to mention now and focus myself is about the tooth. So in this case, we can put a rubber down for sure, very important to isolate the field and to have the best addition, po uh, addition possible. And then we can put uh, uh, some materials, we can put some uh, adhesives, but uh, first we have to do some conditioning. Could be some blasting if you want, could be um, etching, acid etching uh, uh, conditioning, and then a bonding system. The cement that we use is important. So many times in my life, I used the uh, packable composite preheated cement, like the one that we use for the fillings, or we can use specific materials, like we mentioned, for an example, in the, this video's series uh, in the number 17, when we mentioned about trying phases. And if we use a, a material, specific material that is like curable, like an example, realized veneer that as the trying paste is, we can figure out the situation from a statical point of view, and then we can cement with this kind of material. If we have a crown be layered, we can use a lot also dual cements that, are, that needs this kind of pre-steps, this kind of conditioning steps. When we move in the second scenario, and maybe we have a full crown, monolithic, in a posterior area, in example, where in a molar, when we didn't have the preparation uh, supra gingiva, and so the isolation of the field with the rubber dam is most difficult, we can consider also a different approach, simplified approach. Because in this case, we have enough retention and we have enough uh, resistance because the monolithic approach. And so in this case, we can put a cord in order to maintain better isolated the idea of the fluids uh, of um, the, the circus and uh, we can put a split dam or we can maintain uh, quite isolated and we can use a simplified approach like self-adhesive uh, material, self-adhesive cement. So these are the two approaches that we can use. You remember that you have to ask to yourself uh, first uh, if you need uh, better positioning and maintaining the position of the restoration thanks to the adhesive, adhesive cementation and second one, how is the strength that you want to achieve. If you like this video, share with your friends. See you next one. Ciao. Bye-bye.